This is the second video on data representation. Uh, this time we're looking at number-based conversion and we're aiming to look at this part um, of the AQA GCSE sci uh, computer science specification. So understand why hexadecimal number representation is often used and know how to convert between binary, deanery and hexadecimal, which are the three number bases you're expected to know for the GCSE. And we're also going to touch on this one. So understand how binary can be used to represent positive whole numbers up to 255. Okay, so uh, six different things we're going to look at. But first of all, these all rely, well, most of them rely on your understanding of this. So what is deanery? Okay, so deanery is our normal system for kind of counting. Okay, so this is called base 10. Uh, and the reason it's called base 10 is because we have, uh, well, the different columns. So we start with our units, then we go up to 10, and then go to 100, and then go to 1,000. And another thing that you can spot is that there's actually 10 different digits. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if I, uh, so you've learned to do this from an early age, but perhaps it's something that you don't really think about anymore. So when you have a deanery number, for example, this one, we know that this is 3,667 because what we've got is we've got seven times one, seven units, and we've got six times 10, so seven tens, which is 60. We've got six times 100, which is 600, and three times 1,000, which is 3,000. So when I add all of these together, I get the, uh, the, uh, the deanery number. So 3667. And we say that 3,667. So if you have an understanding of that, you can now move on to knowing how to convert between binary and deanery. So it's the same thing, but this time uh, the columns go up as 2 to the power of n. So this time it's 1s, 2s, 4s, 8s, 16s, 32, 64, 128. So a common mistake is to write out the columns from left to right. You always begin with the lowest value, so the 1, the units column, on the right-hand side. So uh, another reason binary is different is because it only uses two different uh, two different uh, digits. So this time, the only things we have available are ones and zeros. So you're only expected to know up to uh, a byte, so eight bits. So if you have the deanery number this, then uh, a deanery number like this, so 10111101, then all you have to do to convert is starting from the right hand side. So I have one times one. Uh, I don't have any twos, so I have one times four, and I have one. So you don't even think, so I'm going to kind of stop. You don't even need the multiplication because it's either going to be uh, a zero or a one. So either we have that value or we don't have that value. So what I'm going to do is just list the ones we do have. One, four, eight, 16, 32, and 128. Okay, so when I add all of these together, so uh, 128 plus 32 is 158, 160, add 16, 176, add 8, 184, add 4, 188, add 1, 189. Okay, so the binary number 10111101 in deanery is 189. Okay, so moving on to the other way now. So this time you have to think of... Uh, a method to convert deanery numbers to binary. So let's take an example number, so something like 139. Okay, so the way to do this is you think, what is the biggest uh, binary column, we'll call it, that fits into n? And this is where n is your number, and you can use this technique for any number you have. So I will just double, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, and would stop. So I've just realized that the biggest deanery number is 128. So this means for this column, what I'm going to need, is, uh, sorry, for this number, what I'm going to need is just seven columns. So I would start by putting uh, the smallest number on the left-hand side. Sorry, the largest number on the right-hand side, I should have said. And so we just agreed that that was 128. So then 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2. Whoops. When I said I needed seven columns, what I actually need is eight columns. Okay, so to express 139, now I would need 1, 128. 
that leaves me with 11 remaining. And in order to make 11, what I need to do is have 1, 8, 1, 2, and 1, 1. So any column that I'm not using, I simply put a 0. So what this gives me is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, oh, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1. So the denary number 139 in binary would be this number. Right, so now we're going to uh, move on to hexadecimal. Um, so hexadecimal is different to binary in that it is base 16. So binary is base 2, just to reiterate that. Um, so what does this mean? So this means that the columns are different and hexadecimal uses 16 different digits. Okay, so obviously when we think of digits, we think of numbers and we only have the numbers 0 to 9. So then hex borrows numbers from the alpha, well, borrows digits from the alphabet and uses the letters A to F. So A, all we have to remember is A is 10, the other letters follow on. F is 15. So when we're converting uh, hexadecimal numbers, the way it works is you just need to think about two columns. So hexadecimal numbers obviously go up, uh, well, to infinity. But for the purpose of the GCSE, all you have to worry, at, worry about is the two columns. So the columns in hexadecimal, the first one is the units again. And then the next one is 16. And so this is because uh, the hexadecimal columns, they go up in uh, uh, 16 to the power of n rather than 2 to the power of n. So in the right-hand column, we have the number of ones, and the left-hand column is the number of 16. So for example, if we had a number such as this, uh, for E, what this would mean is I have E ones, which is the same as 14 ones, because E is 14, and this would mean I have four 16s. Okay, so I'm adding 32, 64 to... 64 to 14, which is 78. And what this means is 4e in hexadecimal is 78 in deanery. So let's try another one. So you may have a number such as this. So say we have b9. And again, what this would mean is I have 9 times 1, which is 9. And this time b times 16. Remember, you just have to remember that A is 10. So B is 11. So 11 times 16. 11 16s is 176. So this would mean B9 in hexadecimal is equal to um, 185 in deanery. So to get that, I just added 176 to the number 9.